assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to my channel in today's lecture we are going to prove a famous result from set theory that is known as the schroeder bernstein theorem what does it say it says that if you have any three sets x y x1 such that x is superset of y y is superset of x1 and the cardinalities of x and x1 are same then we have to prove that the cardinalities of x and y are same as well I start my proof with the assumption that x and x1 are equipotent to each other meaning their cardinalities are same now if their cardinalities are same then we can have a bijection between these two sets and I have named that bijective function as f now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict this function f to a subset of x let's say that subset is this y so if I restrict this function from y to a subset of x1 that I'm going to name here as y1 again this will be a bijection which means that y and y1 will be equipotent to each other or you can say their cardinalities will be same as well so what we have now we have y as superset of x1 which is a superset of this y1 such that the cardinalities of y and y1 are same so if their cardinalities is same what we can do from here is we can make a bijection between these two sets y and y1 and then we can restrict that bijective map to a subset of this y let's say that subset is x1 such that we will have another set which will be a subset of this y1 and the cardinality of that subset of y1 and this x1 will be same and I'm going to call that subset that new subset as x2 so we will have x2 as the subset of y1 such that the cardinalities of x1 and x2 will be same and then we can use this procedure again and again we can repeat this and now we can for example say that x1 and x2 are equipotent to each other y1 is subset of x1 so the bijection between x1 and x2 can be restricted to y1 which will give us another subset of x2 which will be equipotent to this y1 so what we are going to do here is what we are doing here is we are constructing two different categories of equipotent sets one of them is x x1 x2 and so on the other category we are constructing here is y y1 y2 and so on so these are the two categories of equipotent sets that we are creating such that x is superset of y which is superset of x1 which is superset of y1 which is superset of x2 which is superset of and this can keep going on and on like this right all right students using this series we have constructed a new set that i have named here as b and from this set we can write x as x minus y union y minus x1 union x1 minus y1 union ultimately union b similarly y can be written as y minus x1 union x1 minus y1 union y1 minus x2 union and so on ultimately union b right also if you note that the sets x minus y x1 minus y1 x2 minus y2 all of these sets are equipotent to each other how are we sure about this we are sure about this because we have constructed this series now if you look at this series what does it say it says that x and x1 are equipotent to each other y and y1 are equipotent to each other let's ignore the further series just focus on these four terms of this series now if i take x minus y 
you know very well that will be exactly equal to x1 minus y1 in terms of number of elements their cardinalities will be same and using the same argument for the whole series we can say this that x minus y x1 minus y1 x2 minus y2 all of these are same with respect to their number of elements their cardinalities are same or you can say they are equipotent so from here we can construct even a function f that will be of course a bijective function from x k y k to x k plus 1 minus y k plus 1 and this will be a bijective function right so far what we have done here is is just a homework to prove that x is equal Alright students, here we have constructed a function g between the sets x and y. If we prove it to be a bijective function, that means we have proved x and y to be equipotent to each other as per our requirement, right? Now, I am going to define this function g as follows, that if the input x is from the sets xk minus yk, or it is from the set x minus y in that case you will simply apply the function f on that input okay and if your input is from the sets yk minus xk or it is from the set b in that case output will be same as the input or you can say the domain and range will be of same sets okay now i'm going to give you a figurative explanation of what is actually happening here if you take the input from the set x minus y, let's say, what will happen? You will simply apply f on that element x of x minus y. And what will happen? Your output will be from the set x1 minus y1. This is being explained here using this arrow that all the elements of this set x minus y will give us an output in the set x1 minus y1 okay similarly all the inputs in the set x1 minus y1 will give us outputs in the set x2 minus y2 and this will keep going on on and on like this right similarly if you take the input from the sets yk minus xk what will happen in that case as it is suggested by this definition that the input and output will be same that helps us to understand that all the inputs of yk minus xk will be mapped to yk minus xk again that means that all the inputs from the set y minus x1 will be mapped to all the elements of y minus x1 again similarly all the inputs from the set y1 minus x2 will be mapped to all the elements of y1 minus x2 and this will keep going on and on like this one option is left now what if the point belongs to the set b again using this suggestion this definition of the function what does it say that output will be same as the input so all the elements of b will be mapped to all the elements of b again what is showing here by the way this explanation is showing us that all the elements of the set x are mapped one one and on to to the maps uh, to the elements of this set y that means that there exists a one-to-one -one correspondence between the sets x and y and that means this function g is a bijective map so if this is a bijective map finally we can conclude from here that these two sets x and y are equipotent to each other as per our requirement thank you so much for watching the complete video please subscribe my channel if you haven't yet hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update in the future thank you so much and yes i forgot don't forget to give me your feedback in the comment section below thank you so much